Hello, Carolina. We are going to start in two minutes, okay? So we can okay. wait for the others. Very good. Let's wait. Okay, so I think we are going to start right with the two of you. We have four people now. That's good. Well, not good because everyone should be here. Todo debería estar ya esta hora, pero hace lo que se puede. Veamos. We are going to call the attendance. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Okay. Today is Tuesday, yeah, martes, wow. Martes 27, mm -hmm. Tuesday 27. We have Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Nope. Okay. Brenda Iris Escamilla. Brenda Iris Escamilla. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Y Carolina Yamilet Hernández Aranda Verde. Present. Very good. Claudia Ibet Samayoa Castro. Uh -huh. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Emerson Alberto Guevara Ortez. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mingiva. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Iván Ernesto Elías. 
Present. Thank you. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo Fuentes. Joalmo Alexis Ochoa. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present. Thank you. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present. Thank you. Nelson Iván Alfaro Flores. Nimian Elizabeth León de Estrada. Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Present. Thank you. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Present. Thank you. Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Thank you. So now that we have everyone here, let's start working, right? We're going to do our class today. Today is class number 12, right? Class number 12, class number 12. And do you see my computer? Yes. yes. Very well. Now we start with the National English for Work program, right? And we're going to have the video conference here for the unit number three, right? How to use simple present information question. Okay. That's what we're going to continue working with. Today, we will continue working with information questions or WH questions, okay? Now, yesterday, we worked with this, right? Do you remember this? ¿Se recuerdan de esto? Yes. 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 Very good, very good. So now, Tell me, when am I going to use who? To ask about what? What do I use who for? When am I going to use who? Um, uh -huh. Ask about for people or, or a person? Ask about people or persons. Okay, very good. That's when we use who. Excellent. When we ask about people or person. Very good. Thank you, Carolina. What about the others? When do I use where? When you talking about place. When you ask about places, very good, or locations. Very good, places or locations. Very good. When am I going to use why? Why? Ask for reason. Ask for reason. Ask for reasons, very good. When we ask for reasons, we use why, excellent. And what? When do we use what? Ask about things or situations. Ask about things or situations. That is perfect. Ask Thank you, question. Okay. ¿Qué significa reason? Reasons, razones. Okay. And we? Reasons, no, why? why? Uh -huh. Yes, razones. Uh -huh. Well, okay. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. What do we use with ask? With how? We ask about? Ask about manners. Ask about manners. Very good. And what about when? Ask about periods of the time. time. Ask about periods of time. Periods of time or time. Or time. There are other questions that they are not here, right? But, but we put them like in here. What, what are other type of WH questions? Which? Which, okay. Oh. Which, very good. Another one? Only which? 
um, with, uh, to with, to us, with about no, ocean. With, with, no, with is not a, a WH question. Okay. With is a, is a conjunction. Con, con quien? Option. Mm -hmm. Only which? What was the other? We have other examples here. Uh, who's, who's? Who's, thank you, Carlos, very good. Who's? Who's, who's? Okay. Who's, okay, and? Uh, what time? What time? What time, very good, what time? All of them are WH questions that we can use. Which, what do we, what, what do we ask for which? About options. Ask about, about options. Option. Ask about options. Who's? How? Huh? To, to ask about options. Options for who's? No. Ah, no, for who's, no. Possession. Ask about possessions. Okay, and what time? Ask about to ask the hour. Ask the about the time. Hour. Okay, very good. Ask about the hour. It means time, okay? A specific time, very good. So we have there, right, the options here for our questions, right? This is what we did yesterday. Right now, we are going to work in pairs, okay? We're going to work in pairs. We have, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You are going to write nine questions with these words. One question with one, another question with where, another with how, and so on, okay? One question, one WH word. You are going to use the simple present formula to create these questions. What was the simple present formula to create this question? Who can tell? Um, so what was the formula, okay? Subject plus? Bear. For to make Bear. questions, to make questions. Ah. Uh -huh. no. For W. Auxiliary. W H word. Mas do das. Plus do or das plus do or das. Mas subject. Plus subject. Subject verb. verb. Plus verb. verb. Complement. Plus complement. Okay. And question mark. Right. This is the formula that we're going to use to create our questions. So tell me right now, Jenny, how many questions are we going to create? How many questions are we going to write? ¿Cuántas preguntas vamos a escribir? How many questions are we going to write? Yes. Nine. 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 Ocho. Nine. Nueve. Nine. Nine. Nueve. Exactly. Nueve. Very good. One question per word. Okay? No vamos a repetir las preguntas. One question per word. You're going to work in pairs. You are going to use simple present to create your questions, okay? Not the verb to be. So you cannot ask questions like, how are you? Like, how old are you? No. You need to think about possible questions that you can create, okay? Now, are you ready? Yes? ¿Estamos listos? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it right now. We're going to be in groups in this very moment. Let me see. Let's 
Okay, let's go. Let's choose our group. Select your group, select your group right now. Click, click, click. Brenda, can you please select your group? Brenda. Question, vamos a hacer una por cada ejemplo. Uh -huh. Yo tengo una, no sé si le parece. Okay. What are you doing? Doing, uh -huh. creo que, sin, que se pronuncia. ¿Qué, es, ¿Qué estás haciendo? Podría uh -huh. ser la primera opción para, para no. what. No, because you're using verb to be. Y you need to use simple present. ¿Qué estás Ay. haciendo? ¿Qué haces? Con simple present. Ah, uh -huh. pero la tenemos que hacer siempre con simple present. Always with simple present. Las nueve. Okay. Always with simple present. Ok. What? What you're all... Uh, yeah, ¿cómo es? Ajá. User simple person. Quiero ver. I will see you in a moment, okay? Create your questions. De la salud, buscando el eh, Exacto. Son nueve, son nueve oraciones. Rich, was y what time. Was. Pero le, ent le entendí que solo hacer las preguntas. Pero Entonces, ellos compraron las marcas. Exacto. Entonces, el, el local, solo las preguntas, igual. ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Como originalmente. Ok. 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 okay. okay. Are we going to use, what is the test that we're going to use? No, 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 no. Ok. 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 Ok.
Hi, teacher. Hi, you're going to work with Karina and Nelson. We're working with WH questions, okay? They will tell you what to do. Okay. Thank you. See you in a moment. Entonces sería... ¿Cuándo dirás? When, ¿Cuándo dirás? Así. When, when, are, when are you going to the cinema? No, that is when incorrect. Are, es que no. es hoy... No. Hoy es... Listen to me. Escúcheme. Esa pregunta está bien. When are you going to the cinema? Está bien. Por ejemplo, future be going to. Está en otro tiempo. Ahorita tenemos que utilizar simple present. Ese no es simple present. That's the future. Ese es futuro. No podemos utilizar el futuro si no sabemos utilizar el presente primero. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿cuál era la fórmula del presente que eh, estaban utilizando? Es, um, Ahí la pusimos antes de que se vinieran los equipos. La fórmula es. Se le tomé captura, teacher. Okay, WH. WH. Más. 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 Complement. Complement. Excellent. That is correct. Nos hemos equivocado. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Keep working. Sigan trabajando. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Gracias. In a moment. It says in the show. In the show. Tell me one of your questions. Um, ¿Cómo se escribe? Dígame una de sus preguntas. Tell me one of your questions. Eh, estamos, comenzamos con who. Uh -huh. eh, eh, who do dance in the shows? In the show? Do dance in the uh -huh. show? No. Look at the formula that Carolina gave us. What was the formula? ¿Cuál fue la formula que pusimos arriba? Eh, w H word uh -huh. to or does plus subject plus verb plus complement. Okay. What is the subject in your question? Who do dance What is the subject? Ah, okay. Es cierto, no tenemos sujeto. Ahora, Pero tenemos, que... nos pasamos de das a verbo. Okay. ¿Y qué quiere preguntar? Queremos preguntar quién va a bailar. Entonces, si queremos, si queremos preguntar quién quiere bailar, no, no es eh, así. Who wants to dance? Uh -huh. Who wants to dance? ¿Quién quiere bailar? Esa siempre está en simple present, pero ayer la expusimos. Ayer explicamos que ese tipo de preguntas preguntamos por el sujeto. Como se llaman subject uh -huh. questions, preguntas para el sujeto, no utilizamos do and does. Solamente utilizamos la uh -huh. wh word uh -huh. más el verbo. Who wants to dance? Brenda wants to dance. Who wants to sing? Julio wants to sing. Okay. Okay. Tiene okay. alguna Gracias. otra pregunta? Quiero ver. Quiero escucharlas. Quiero ver con el otro. Yes, Brenda. ¿Cuál es la otra, Brenda? No, estoy revisando los apuntes que tengo de ayer. Ok. Ok. Joanna is calling me, so I will go with Joanna right now. 
Teacher, have a question. Tell me. Eh, no entiendo, porque estábamos viendo acá que la, la fórmula era WH, do or does, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Uh -huh. Pero mi pregunta es, ¿para todos los WH tenemos que utilizar el auxiliar do and does? Mm, it, it, no, depends. it depends. ¿verdad? It depends on the subject. Por ejemplo, si tienes el subject I, you, we, they, you are going to use do. Si tienes he, she, as a subject, you're going to use that. No, no, no. O sea, por ejemplo, una pregunta que pueda formular con who. Ah, ayer explicamos un ejemplo diferente con who. Who opens the door? She opens the door. Cuando utilizamos who, eso se llama, por ejemplo, subject questions. Son preguntas para el sujeto. Subject questions. La subject question no lleva tu endas. Y explicamos ayer, eh, miren sus apuntes. Y teníamos la pregunta, who opens the door in the supermarket? Right? Who opens the door in the supermarket? Oh. Joana. Joana opens the door in the supermarket. Miren el chat, por favor. Por o sea, ejemplo, solo who sería la solo sería la excepción. ¿Cómo? No, podemos hacer sería la excepción o depende de la pregunta. Depende de la pregunta. Yo le puedo preguntar, who do you work with? Who do you work with, Joana? Who do you work with? ¿Con quién trabajas tú? Who do you work with? With my work co-worker. I work with my co-workers. Very good. I work It's, with my co-workers. Y la subject question solo es para who o para todas o depende. Solo es para who, porque solo who me está diciendo el sujeto. Solo para who. Y es cuando yo quiero saber específicamente quién hizo algo. Exactly. Okay. ¿Quién, quién eh, desarrolló la acción? ¿Quién desarrolló la acción? Ok. Gracias, Ticha. Very good. Do you need more time or did you finish? No, ni una. Eh. Tanto para. Ok, I see you in a moment. Ok. Ok. Sí. 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 Did you finish? To the no. No yet? What are the words that you have? Yekarsi, almost almost. What, where, how, why? Faltan when? cuatro. <laughs> Tell me the examples that you have. Er. Yo tengo, what does she do in the evening? Ok, termino de uno. What does she do in the evening? Ok, good. What's another one? Oh, bueno, tengo, tengo, mire, este, esta la, Miro. la sacamos, de hecho, mire, disculpe. <ríe> Por favor, de hecho, de, la sacamos del sombrero, mire, dice. How do you say, lo siento, en English? Yeah, that's perfect. <ríe> How do you say lo siento in English? Very good. How do you say lo siento in English? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Very good. I'm sorry. Okay. A ver. When does he go to the... Who, oh, vea. Does he go to the university? Um... Después de when, ¿qué sigue? Vaya, aquí podemos uh. usar este que les digo. Ya que está la teacher. Uh -huh. pues. Who do you eat your lunch with? Mm -hmm. Who do you eat your lunch with? I eat my lunch with my husband. Oh. <laughs> yep. 
entendí, entendí. Ok. Sí tiene sentido entonces, ¿verdad, Tich? Ya. Yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. También no. Good good care. Good you. Eat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eat your mm, lunch. lunch. With. With. Uh, quién? Promise. Oh, siempre, siempre escríbanlo en el chat. Siempre escriban las preguntas en el chat para que sus compañeros vean cómo está escrito y les cueste ah. menos. ¿Ok? Ok, ok. O pueden compartir pantalla, así como hago yo, y ustedes escribirlo ahí. Cuando ustedes están en grupo, ah, ustedes pueden compartir pantalla. ¿Comparta pantalla, Carlos? Vamos a ver si puedo. A ver, share screen. Uh -huh. Share screen. ¿Y qué pongo precisamente? <ríe> Me sale ahí. Bar, todo lo que tengo Comparte, abierto. ajá. A ver. Comparte algo ser? decente, ajá. Solo por probar. <ríe> Estudio japonés, así que. <ríe> ah, ok, very good. Ajá. Entonces, ahí está compartiendo sí, pantalla sí. y ya podemos ver qué es lo que está compartiendo. Okay. Very good. Ok. Now ahora close it. Yo... Ahora. Yo bueno. puedo parar aquí que usted lo deje de, de, de compartir. Pero usted también sí. puede darle ahí. Eh, stop share. Así dice abajo. Stop share. Ah, ya lo vi. Arriba aparece. Stop share. Arriba le aparece. Ah, sí. Ok. Very good. Okay. okay. Perfect. Now we're going to stop. Yo creo que dos minutos más y ya nos vamos. Okay. Okay. Did you finish your questions? Terminaron sus preguntas. Did you finish your questions? Y es dicho, pero tengo una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Este, por ejemplo, se puede decir, who is this book? Who's? In this case, if we use who's, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Who's this book? Who's? Mm -hmm. In this case, we, we can say, who is this book? From. Okay. Or who, who, whose book is this? Whose book is this? Let me put it in the chat. Okay. I will use this one. Whose book is this? The king is the libro. Yes. Whose book is this? Y la otra era Who is he? Who is he? Ver? Ok, very good. Se puede usar así. Mm -hmm. Who is he? Yes, we can use mm -hmm. it right now. Who is he? Very good. Ok. Y aquí se puede utilizar, por ejemplo, how many. How many books do you have? Uh -huh. Yes. How many books do you have? En este yes. caso pusimos, how many cars, cars do you have? How many cars do you have? Very okay. good. How many cars do you have? Excellent. Another one. Did you finish? Ay, ya, ya, ya. Y la otra era, why does he study English? Okay. Why does he study English? Very good. Why does he study English? Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, we are going to continue here. Right. Let me close the breakup rooms and let's go. So ya tienen un minuto, okay? I will go right now. Huh? 
Hola, hola. Now we are going to continue here. Let's listen to some examples. Escuchemos algunos ejemplos. Ya los oí la mayoría. Let's, let's listen to some of them. Let's listen to Vilma. Tell me one example. Cualquiera que se quiera compartir. Is, who is your brother? Who is your brother? Okay. My brother is Romeo. Okay. Who is your brother? The question mm -hmm. is perfect. La pregunta está perfecta. Who is your brother? How can you make another question with simple present? La pregunta está perfecta. Silma, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. tell me another question with simple present. Let's see, Roberto, I, I heard your question. It was good. Tell me. Roberto, yes, you are Roberto. I don't have any other Roberto. Huh? Es cierto. <laughs> okay. Eh, ¿Cualquier pregunta, Ticha? Eh, no, with who? So, Vilma can ah. copy the answer. Ah, okay. okay. Bueno, como lo platicé antes era, who do you eat your lunch with? Who do you eat your lunch with? ¿Lo puedo escribir? Yes, write it, of course, of course. That's a good idea. Okay. Vilma, write your question too. Tu pregunta está muy buena. Okay. Remember, write the question so we have more vocabulary. Who do you eat your lunch with? Right. Who do you eat your lunch with? Um, it is who do you eat your lunch with? For example, I eat my lunch with my husband. Who do you eat your lunch with? My husband, como dijo? I, in my case, this is my answer, okay? Carlos, ask me the question. Okay, teacher. Who do you eat your lunch with? I eat my lunch with my husband, okay? okay. It is, who do you eat your lunch with? No comprend. Okay, listen to the question, okay? Uh, Jessica, who do you who do you eat your lunch with? Listen to my answer, okay? Again. Todos, pongan los lapiceros, lo que están haciendo, pongan la parte. Pongan atención, por favor. ¿Ok? Carlos, ask the question. Ok. Teacher, who do you eat your lunch with? I eat, I eat my lunch with my mom. I eat my lunch with my mom. Ok. Jessica. Okay. Who do you eat your lunch with? I eat my lunch with my father. Okay, very good. Claudia, who do you eat your lunch with? I eat my lunch with my, my sister. Okay, very good. Now let's change the question. Ivan. Who do you eat your breakfast with? Who do you eat your breakfast with? Uh, Listen to the answers. No, Necesito okay. que pongan atención cómo responden sus compañeros para seguir practicando, ¿ok? 
Joanna, okay. who do you eat your breakfast with? I eat my breakfast alone. Okay. I eat my breakfast alone. Very good. Iris, who do you eat your breakfast with? I uh, I I I eat my lunch with partners in the work. With my okay, with my co-workers. Recuerden, okay. sus compañeros okay. de trabajo se dice co-workers. Partners, pueden ser sus compañeros de clase o su esposo o su esposa. Okay? My partner. Okay. Very good. Who do you eat your lunch with? Carolina, who do you eat your dinner with? Who do you... No, don't repeat the question. Tell me the answer. Who do you eat your dinner with? Es la misma pregunta que Carlos escribió en el chat. Who do you eat your dinner with? Jenny, who do you eat your dinner with? I eat dinner uh, always. Okay, always with whom? With your mom, with your brother, with your daughter? Um, always my mom. With my mom, okay, very good. Nimian, who do you eat your lunch with? Um, my eat. I eat. I eat my bread, my lunch. Uh -huh, my lunch. Eat with my. Uh, with your mom, with your sister, um, with Carlos Roberto, with Vilma, I don't know. With, with my una, partner. With my partners, very good, with my partners. With, cuando estamos utilizando who and with en una pregunta, WH, okay, and we use who, with, estamos preguntando con quién. Okay. ¿Con quién? Y no solo se utiliza con y, se puede utilizar con cualquier verbo. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, podemos decir el verbo viajar. What is, how do you say viajar en inglés? Travel. 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 Very good. Travel. Excellent. Travel. Ok. Look at the chat. Se pone la información en el chat para que vayan comprendiendo las palabras. Now, the question is, who do you travel with? Who do you travel with? I travel with my husband. I travel with my husband. Who do you travel with, Julio Carlos? I travel with my wife. Okay, very good. Who do you travel with, Brenda Iris? I travel with my friend. Very good, very good. Jessica, who do you travel with? I travel um, with my sister. With my sister. Ivan, who do you travel with? Uh, I travel my brother. With my brother, okay? I travel with okay. my brother. Repeat. With my brother, okay. Excellent, very I good. Travel, I travel with my brother. Very good. I travel with okay. my brother. Carolina, let's try again. Okay. See. Who do you travel with? You travel, you travel with my father. 
I travel with my I, father. I travel. I travel, uh -huh. no. with, I travel with my father. With my father. Ah, okay. Okay. Now, look at this question. Okay. Where do you travel to? Estamos con la WH question. Vamos a practicarlas. Miren la pregunta que se pueden en el chat. Where do you travel to? Where do you travel to? Where do you travel to, Silvia? Hmm. I travel to Guatemala. Okay. I travel to Guatemala. Where do you travel to, Joanna? I travel to Canada. Okay, very good. Where do you travel to, Dilma? Vilma oh. Beatriz, where do you travel to? I I travel to Germany. Germany, you have money. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. Claudia, where do you travel to? I travel to Costa Rica. Costa Rica, pura vida. Okay, good, good. Emerson. Hi, Emerson. Where do you travel to, Emerson? I travel to Milan. To Milan. Okay. Italy. Excellent. Karina, where do you travel to? Travel to Germany. To Germany. Okay. With Vilma. Okay. With, with Vilma. Okay. Good. To Germany. Okay. So if you see, we can create questions because we want information. Okay. Estamos creando WH questions porque queremos información. Okay. Now let, let's get some other examples. Estamos eh, escribiendo los ejemplos. Joanna, give me one example. De los que trabajan en el equipo con Iván. Okay. Um, uh, how do you sleep in the week? Oh, how do you sleep in the week? Oh. How do you sleep in the week? Well, I sleep very tired in the week. Okay. Very good. Thank you for your question, Joanna. Brenda, what's your question? Um, who do you want to dance in the party? Okay, write the question in the chat. Do you have any chance for that? The, the, the question is, who do you want to dance with at the party? Okay, write it in the chat. Julio Carlos? That's a very good question that you can ask your friends when you go to a disco, to a party, to dance, right? In the meantime, we're going to listen to Carolina. Carolina, tell us one question. Hola. Tell us one question, please. Do you do... Vamos a ver. Yo hice con Gu. 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 How? How? How do you say? Uh, I'm sorry, yes. Lo siento. Okay, diga su pregunta. Who do you say? I'm no. sorry. How do you say? Uh, how, how do you say? I'm sorry. How do you say I'm sorry? Uh-huh. Okay. 
I say, I'm, how do you say I'm sorry in Spanish? Is that what you want to ask? How do you want to ask? How do you say I'm sorry in Spanish? Lo siento. Okay. Lo siento. Lo siento. Uh -huh. Okay, Julio Carlos, make sure that your question mark is only at the end, not at the beginning, no al inicio. Solamente ponemos signo de interrogación al final, en inglés. Okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Now, look at the question that Julio right there. It's a very good question. Who do you want to dance with at the party? Who do you want to dance with at the party? I want to dance with my husband at the party. I want to dance with my girlfriend at the party. I want to dance with my brother at the party. Right? Very good. Teacher, you are single or married? I am married. I've been married for 10 years. Really? Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, Joanna, yes? The question? En la pregunta de Julio tengo una duda porque para decir con quién el with no era al final. You can put it at the party with or with at the party. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Bien. Yes, both are correct. Yes, yes, yes. Both are correct. Now, let's go ahead and continue with the next activity. Veamos la segunda actividad. Right. We were, yesterday, we were creating some questions right here and we had number one number two what was the answer the question for number three what was the question for number three Nelson Ivan what can I do what? What time? What time? Work. Okay. What time do you work? Why do they participate? What time in do? What time do you work? What time do you work? Works. Words. But it, the answer is about Maria and I. So it cannot be words. Ivan, can you can you repeat your question, please? What time? What they time? start to work. Do they start to work? Okay. What time do they start to work? Start working. Start working. Start working, mm -hmm. that's better. Yes. What time do they start working? Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Very good. That is the correct answer. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Very good. Do you have something different than this? Let's see the possibilities. Let's I, see the options. I have a question, teacher. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yo pensé que en lugar de they iban a utilizar we, no sé si he entendido mal la oración. Estoy preguntando a María y yo, comenzamos uh -huh. a trabajar a las 10. Uh -huh. We. ¿Por qué usamos they? That's, uh -huh. That's why we, I'm asking if you have something different. Por eso estoy preguntando si tienen algo diferente. Para no darle la respuesta, yo lo, para que ustedes lo okay. analicen. Yo lo tengo, do you start, tengo ya. Do you start working. Ok. Yo, teacher, lo tengo. What time do you we come to work? But we're not using come. We're using start. That's the verb. What time do you start working? We have another option. Yes? Okay. Así lo tengo yo. No sé si está bien así también. Yo tengo otra opción. What do you have? The verb is a start. 
El verbo es estar, iniciar, comenzar a trabajar. What do you have, Damien? Mm, pero, we come. What does made it in me start working? What time? What does made it in me start working? Mm, but we cannot use that because Mary and I is, sing, is plural, it's not singular. And remember we use das with third person singular only. With third person singular. Utilizamos das solamente con la tercera persona singular que es he, she, and it. Y cuando decimos María and I, ya se hace como dice Julio e Iván. We, nosotros. Okay, so in this question, in this question, I would select the best answer is the second one. What time do you start working? Because it's a conversation, right? So we are going to ask, hey, Maria, what time do you start working? Oh, Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Alguien más le está preguntando a ella dos a qué horas comienzan a trabajar. Entonces tiene que hacerse la pregunta con you, no con they. ¿Okay? Ni tampoco se puede utilizar we en la pregunta porque se está dirigiendo a ellas. ¿Okay? En las respuestas ah. sí podríamos cambiar María and I por we. We start working at 10 p.m. Pero la respuesta va dirigida a alguien más. ¿Okay? So. What time do you start working? Now, let's see number four. Number four, thank you, Van. Change the answers there, please. Let's see number four, Jenny. What do you have, Jenny? Sorry, teacher. What do you have in number four? The answer. And number four. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Where do you work? Mm, okay. Where do you work? Where do you work? We design and others create a new product. Does it match, Jenny? The where do you work? Para que utilizamos where, Jenny? To ask about? Donde para indicar. Ok, en inglés, en inglés, to ask about, en inglés, to where? ask about. Where. Where, ok, sí, where, uh -huh. para qué utilizamos where. Where, we use where to ask about. Ah, es para, para. In English. About, about a place or location. Excellent, excellent. To ask about places and locations. Jenny, is this a place we design and others create a new product? Nosotros diseñamos y aquellos que están allá crean el nuevo producto. Okay. Yo, lo, yo lo puse como what you design. Oh, ok. But if you say what do you design, ¿qué, qué diseñas? Aquí en la respuesta no dice qué diseña. Ah. Solo dice que diseña. Uh -huh. right? We can say, oh, we design uh -huh. new clothes. We design new clothes. We design new cell phone. Right? But it doesn't say what. Mm -hmm. No dice mm -hmm. el que diseña. Solo dice que diseña. Oh, so, okay. Jenny? Okay. Yes? Is correct. Yes, sir. In this question, what do you do in your work? What do you do in your work? That is perfect. What do you do? What do you do in your workplace? What do you do in your workplace? Oh, we design and others create a new product. Very good. What do you do in your workplace? Yes, yeah, sure. yes, it is. Uh, yo quiero saber si está bien como la dice. Mm -hmm. How do they work? How? 
How do you work? How do you? Okay, right in the chat. Say no. No. Es el mismo ejemplo del número tres. Porque tenemos we. Ajá. Ajá. Es el mismo ejemplo. How do you work? Oh, we design another screen in your product. That's correct. How do you work? Excellent. Okay. Hey, I'm, I'm seeing the chat right now. Give me a moment. What do you design? Oh. How do they design and create a new product? Hey, Joanna, that is a perfect question. How do they design? How do you design and create a new product? Pero no dice el proceso ahí en la respuesta. Okay. Yes? Yo la tengo. Uh, what is you, Joe's wedding, the company? Yes, that is perfect. But it, that is in simple uh, with the verb to be. And remember that we're using simple present. Mm -hmm. right? But your answer is, tu pregunta gramaticalmente está bien, pero no está en simple present. Está con el verbo to be. Ah, okay. What are your job duties in your company? Okay. What are, okay. escríbalo para que ellos conozcan la palabra duty. Yo creo que esta semana la vamos a trabajar. Duties. Escríbalo. Oh, okay. What Perfect. are, what are. And the last one, number five. Let's see, Claudia, what do you have for number five? No sé. Intentemos, Claudia. Es que en todas las que hice me equivoqué. Si no nos equivocamos, no aprendemos. No sé, yo había colocado who, tú, Dave, Amerin. Who to Dave? What is the verb? How? Huh? ¿Cuál es el verbo que estoy utilizando? Her. Are. No. Have. Have. Okay. I have. To talk. In the meetings. That is a good question, right? Te escribimos, who do they have to talk in the meetings with? ¿Con quién van a hablar en la, en la reunión? Who do they have to talk in the meetings with? They have to talk in the meetings with, with the director of the company, right? For example, but... En la, en la respuesta no tenemos eh, esa información. La respuesta no nos da esa información. ¿Qué pasa acá? Tenemos que leer la, la, la respuesta y ver de qué se trata la respuesta. ¿okay? Y dice, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and the outflows. ¿okay? Siempre, siempre que vean la palabra because, que es esta, ya se las muestro acá, because, Right? Es porque vamos a utilizar why. Porque because es una razón, es por qué. Ok. Ok. okay. Teacher. Yes. Enton Entonces es correcto decir which is the meeting to. No. No. Mm. Because which is for options. It's for options. Y aquí queremos hablar de reasons. ¿Cuál es la palabra que utilizamos para reasons? Déjenme ver aquí, ¿hay alguien en el chat? Entonces puede decirse. Ok, look at the, the answers that Joanna and Nelson are giving. Why do they have a meeting? Excellent. Why es razón. Ok, why. Siempre que ustedes miren why, van a tener because. Why and because están casados. Okay. Entonces puede decirse, why is the meeting about? No. Why do they have a meeting? 
Ah, okay, okay. Why do they have a meeting? They have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Okay? Si usted quiere preguntar, what is the meeting about? Es con what? Oh, the meeting is about the inflows and outflows. Pero ella no está preguntando la razón, sino que el qué. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Ahora, ¿entendemos estas preguntas por el momento? Vamos a seguir practicando, así que no se preocupen. ¿Entendemos estas? ¿Entendemos estas preguntas? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de las preguntas? ¿Qué es Soso? Ok, Soso es muy bueno. Eh, lo que pasa es que a mi teacher me cuesta. Eh, sí, es que ahorita todo les va a ajá. costar, porque todos estamos comenzando a... a, a todos ajá. somos beginners, tenemos... No tenemos ni tres semanas, así que a todos nos va a costar, ¿ok? Por eso no hay problema. Okay. ¿Entendemos un poco de lo que estamos hablando? Sí. sí. ¿Ok? ¿Julio? Teacher, ¿y la, y la respuesta 5 puede ir de otra manera o solo de esa forma? En este caso... Pues, why do they have a meeting? Right? Esa es la única forma que podríamos hacer la, la otra. Podríamos hacer otra sobre inflows and outflows. Como decía eh, Karina, what is the meeting about? ¿De qué trata la, la, la reunión? Right? What is the meeting about? O what Sí, solo esa. En simple present, solo esa. Solamente esa. Ok. And this is in, with the verb be. Esta no es en simple present. Esta es en el verbo to be. Exacto. Ok. What is the okay. meeting about? The meeting is about okay. the inflows and the outflows. Why do they have a meeting? They have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and the outflows. Teacher. Yes. Inflow and outflows. Las sobre... entradas y salidas. Pero de qué? Ahí, de la compañía, no sé. Ah. Producto. Del producto. Ajá. Por lo que está hablando. Producto. Exacto. Ajá. Yes. Eh, salida y entrada de mi carro. Uh -huh. Yes. And yes, you are babies right now. Don't worry, don't worry. Si entienden el 20, 30% de lo que estamos hablando, estamos bien. Estamos apenas en la tercera semana. Ok. Eh, Recuérdense, no nos vamos a comparar con nadie más. Nos comparamos con nuestro propio trabajo para ir avanzando. Ok. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. We have the next activity here. Right. And it says in the book, it's telling us, create questions, WH words, with what, when, where, why, and who. Right. Ustedes ya tienen sus preguntas, right? ¿Se recuerdan? ¿Ya crearon sus preguntas? Yes. Okay. So, what are we going to do? We are going to try to answer the questions that you have. Vamos a tratar de responder las preguntas que ustedes ya, ya, ya crearon. Okay. So, you have your questions. Ustedes tienen más de las que nos pide el role play. So, you are going to work right now with the same person you were working with. Van a trabajar con la misma persona y van a responder esas preguntas. Pero ahora en forma de conversación. ¿Ok? So, Joanna was working with Ivan. So, they are going to make a conversation, right, with those questions. Is it clear what we're going to do? ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a trabajar? Ya no van a crear más preguntas. Ya las tienen. ¿Ok? Ya no creen más. Ya tienen nueve preguntas. Usen esas preguntas para crear una conversación. Eh, por ejemplo, Julio Carlos, tell me one of your questions. Okay. Uh, where does Carla work in the Saturday? Okay, Carla works uh, in the supermarket on Saturdays. On Saturdays. Okay, very good. Now I can ask another question. Luego yo le voy a preguntar otra de las preguntas que ya tenemos para que la responda. ¿Ok? ¿Es it clear what we're going to do? ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer? ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Let's start working. Vamos a practicar nuestra pronunciación con las preguntas. Eh, pero antes, veamos. Asistencia, asistencia, rapidito. 
Let's see. Eh, Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Present. Hello. Brenda Iris Hello. Escamilla Pérez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Carolina Yamilet Hernández Landa Verde. Present. Claudia Ivette Samayoa Castro. Present. Tenny Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Ortez. Present. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mejibar. Present. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Iván Ernesto Elías. Present. Jessica Rosmeri Olmedo Fuentes. Teacher. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present. Karina Melis Estrada Aldana. Ok. Nelson Iván Alfaro Flores. Present. Nimian Elizabeth León de Estrada. Present. Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Present. Joana Beatriz Orena Severo. Present. Very good. So now let's get to work. En los equipos le voy a poner a los que se han unido ya después para que compartan sus preguntas con ellos por chat. ¿Ok? Para que se les haga más fácil. Let's do it. Let's go. You already have your groups. Eh, Nelson, ¿usted con quién estaba en el equipo? Nelson, ¿usted con quién estaba? ¿Con quién? No recuerdo sus nombres. No recuerdo sus nombres. Ah, oh, Pero estaba con, la, con, con Jessica, ¿verdad? Con lentes. Sí. sí, ok. Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. Uf. Sí, ahí lo vamos a dar. Vámonos. Era el azul y, y, el, y el suyo era el rojo. El rojo, ajá. Ok, ustedes dos, Vilma y Iris, ustedes ya trabajaron, ustedes solamente van a compartir sus preguntas con Ana Daisy para que ella escuche cómo ustedes eh, entran en la conversación y luego que ella se les una. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Así trabajamos más efectivamente. Ok. okay. Inicio. Thank you. You're welcome. Compártanlas en chat o por mensaje de WhatsApp, lo más rápido que se pueda. Ok. Y luego, pues, este, armar nuestra conversación en base a ellas. Que el, tenemos una, dos, tres, cuatro, seis, ¿verdad? Logramos seis. Siete. Entonces, uh -huh. ah, tenemos siete. Mira. Ajá, yo puse eh, el bus, 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 y this. Bus. Bus. Ah, bus. 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 Ah, pues, bus, book is this. This is my book, ok. That's Mimian's book. Very good. Eh, lo que me está costando es Wish. ¿De qué le está costando de Wish? De construirla, porque eh, dice que es as about option, pero option de qué? Any options, de cualquier cosa. Ah, de cualquier cosa. De cualquier cosa. Por ejemplo. Oh. What is your favorite food? What is your favorite food? What is your favorite food, Carolina? What? What is your favorite food? ¿Cuál es su comida favorita? What is your favorite uh, food? Um. I am tacos. My favorite food is tacos. Ah. Okay, very good, very good. 
Entonces, cuando uno le pregunta con what, es una opción más general. No le damos uh -huh. opciones, ¿ok? Pero si yo le, le pregunto después a Carolina. Carolina, which one or which Mexican food do you prefer? Tacos or burritos? Uh -huh. I'm giving you options. Which Mexican food do you prefer? Porque ya sé que le gusta la comida mexicana, ¿verdad? Entonces ya es más específico. Which Mexican food do you prefer? Tacos or burritos? She would say, oh, I prefer tacos, right? Mm -hmm. Then I can ask you with another thing, for example, um, colors. I have colors. What is your favorite color? My favorite colors is aqua. Aqua, okay, very good. It's aqua. Now I will ask you, which color is your favorite? Green, 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 or yellow? Aquí ya no le estoy dando más opciones que solo dos. ¿Cuáles de las dos prefieres? Which one is your favorite? Yellow or green? I am favorite green. My favorite, my uh, favorite is uh, my green. My favorite is green. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. My favorite. Okay. Acuérdese de repasar esas palabras ya las vimos. Son uh -huh. los son los eh, object pronouns. Okay, ya lo vimos. My, uh -huh. here, his, and so on. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí. Very good. Creen su conversación sí. entonces. Lo veo en un momento. Gracias, Gracias. teacher. Gracias. Bueno, uh, stereotype. In a company. Yes. Vaya, entonces vamos a poner. Mm -hmm. Vamos uh -huh. a ver, hello Rosemary, empiezo yo acá. Mm, Karina de Rosemary. De Rosemary. Uh -huh. Karina. Y de ahí sería Nelson. De Jabacar. Karina. Rosemary. And do you have a card? Rosemary. No, I don't. Karina. And you, Nelson, ahí pregunta Rosemary. And you, Nelson, what do you do? Pregunta Rosemary. Sí. Y entonces de ahí contesta Nelson. I am... Uh, digitator, dijo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Hyper. 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 T Y P E R. Creo que esa no. O no sé si yo escuché mal. ¿Cuál no? <risa> what, what, how. Con how. ¿Cuál era la que dije que no? Recuérdenme, porque es digo que... muchas cosas. <risa> no, no yo no sé si yo entendí mal que dijo que... ¿Qué dije? Ajá. ¿Qué dije? No sé qué dije. Digo, digo muchas cosas. Dígame qué dije. ¿Que dijo que no podíamos usar eh, hawaiyo o sí? Oh, sí. No, lo que pasa es que estábamos enfocándonos en aprender el simple present con esas preguntas. Entonces, si utilizamos how are you, how are you no es el simple present, sino que es el verbo to be. No. Y el verbo to be no Ajá. nos sirve para describir rutinas Ajá. o hábitos, sino para describir emociones, sentimientos y estados y locaciones, por ejemplo. Por eso es que les decía que no es que esté malo, sino que para el ejercicio que queremos aprender, para eso es que no, por eso no era recomendable hacerlo. Uh -huh. 
Por eso es cuando a veces les digo, su pregunta está bien, su respuesta está bien, pero no, no concuerda con, lo que, con el ejercicio que estamos trabajando. Se puede decir, who do you like the coffee? Who do you like the coffee? How do you like the coffee? How? ¿Cómo te gusta? How? Uh -huh. How, How do, do you, you like, like the coffee? The coffee? Uh -huh. mm, I like my coffee black and no sugar. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Very good. sin azúcar. Sí. Negro sin azúcar. Y con pan. <laughs> no, I don't. Con semita. No me gusta el pan dulce con café. Soy rara. De verdad. No. Gorda. No. I don't know why, pero no me gusta. No sé por qué, I don't know why. Pero no me gusta. Sí lo como, pero no, no es mi favorito. Pero no es mi favorito. <ríe> sí. Ok. ¿Do you have any other questions? No. Um, no. 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 Ok. Sí. Lo voy con Joana que está pidiendo no. ayuda. No. Ok. Sí, okay. Thank you. Thank Gracias. you. Gracias. You're welcome. Bye bye. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hay que agregarle with al final. ¿A qué? Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher, eh, estamos hablando aquí con Brenda uh -huh. que cuando se utilizan dos verbos en una misma oración al segundo se le pone ING. Depende. ¿Cuál es la oración? ¿Cuál es la oración, Brenda? Who do you want to dance in the party with? Who do you want to dance in the party with? Ok. Ajá, esa es la cuestión. Ok. En ese... Uh -huh. I want to dance in the party with with Jose with Jose ok, escuchen bien one, two one, two aquí se lo puedo poner one, two es una regla gramatical que se utiliza aparte okay. I want ok, puedo utilizar, decir I want I want tea I want tea ok Quiero té. Ahí está bien. Pero si yo digo, I want to drink tea. I want to drink tea. Cuando utilizamos want to, que yo quiero hacer algo, que yo quiero realizar una acción, entonces el verbo va en la forma base, no va con ing. ¿Ok? Cuando decimos want to. I want to drink. I want to eat pupusas right now. I want to teach English every day. I want to have a lot of money. Cuando usamos want to, it puede ser want to con I or she. You can say, Joanna wants to drink Coca-Cola right now. Okay. Entonces, cuando es want to, sería subject plus want to. Los verb in base form, el verbo en la forma base, plus complement. Okay. Si queremos, hemos visto oraciones con ING, eso sí. Por ejemplo, I love playing, I love playing soccer on Sundays. Okay. I love playing soccer on Sundays. Pero ese ya no es want to. Cuando usamos want to, no podemos, I want to dance, I want to dance. No podemos decir así. Ok. Pero son reglas gramaticales que vamos a ver después. Sí, mira, a ver. Okay. Van a hacer pero, reglas. Ajá. Pero y para saber qué verbo lleva ING, ¿o no me meto todavía en eso? No se meta todavía en eso. Por eso entonces... <risa> Ajá. Se ven chula. Se ven chula, exacto. Vale. Ok, porque son otras reglas especiales para cada uno. Ok, vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. ¿Ya terminado? No, ok, le voy a dar dos minutos más a todos los grupos para ver cómo van. Ok. Ok. Rosemary, ¿do you have a car? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And you have a car, Karina? Uh, no. Okay. Did you finish your conversation? 
<laughs> Not finished, teacher. Not finished yet? No. Uh, mm -hmm. Just have uh, four questions. Solo tienen cuatro preguntas. Okay, traten de crear un par más. Le voy a dar dos minutos más. We're creating Thank questions, you. Emerson and Eriberto, with simple present. Um, okay. Yes? Okay. We have five, five questions. Five questions, okay. Creen una más, porque son tres, entonces pueden preguntar dos cada uno, repito. Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. And practice, practice, practice. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Si quieren, si quieren repasemos las, las preguntas que tenemos. Carlos. Luego yo le voy a responder. Este, hello boss, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm here because I'm traveling. Uh -huh. I'm here. Entonces o sea, usted me falta a mí ahí escribir algo. Ah, entonces usted le, sí podría responder. Me too, podría. Ah, me too puede ser usted. Me too. Yo también, verdad. Yo también estoy viajando. Uh -huh. Ya. O, o puede poner, I live here. Ah, I live here. Ah, yo estoy, yo vivo aquí. ¿verdad? I live here. Entonces, yo respondo, ¿verdad? Después de eso, I'm here tra I'm, because I'm traveling. Entonces, Where entonces, will you travel next, ¿verdad? Ah, no. Este, dije, Where do you travel after? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well... Do you, do you do? Where, Where do you travel after? after? after. Lo voy a poner. Where do you Ahora lo puedo ver. Travel after. After. Ah, ya. Yeah. After. Ajá. Ok. Miren ahora. Ay, quedó patajar. A un lado. <laughs> Teacher, yo puedo decir, I'm going to, y el país. Okay. Well, I'm going to oh, do you try but, but yes, but we don't get into that yet. No se meta eso todavía. Okay? okay. Todavía no. <laughs> pues sí, I travel to Bahamas eh, next weekend or That's next awesome. month. Did you finish? Dos minutos más para seguir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yo creo que con eso ya podemos. Pero este. Did you practice? Ya practicaron. La no, es que como todavía la estábamos construyendo. Construyendo. Ya tenían cinco. ¿Por qué sí. escribieron más? No. Para darle Ay, coherencia. No. <risa> Teníamos un solo. No, pero es que aquí hemos incluido el, el saludo. No sé si y después mandado, hemos incluido las no, preguntas. Ok, repasen ahorita. ¿Quiere escuchar? Hi Carolina and Carlos. Hi Nimian and Carlos. Why do you stay here? Hello, both. Nice to meet you. I'm here because I'm traveling. Hello. Who do you travel with? Who do you travel with? ¿Con quién está? Where do you travel? Where do ah, no, you travel? Ah, no, espérame, espérame, espérame. Era, where do you travel you after? after? Dijo, ¿verdad? ¿Así? Ah, where do you travel after? Pero primero... Pero, acá, acá, por favor. Eso, pero antes no de la pregunta, ¿qué vamos a poner? Carlos tendría que contestar. How do you travel Why? Corresponde Carlos. Ah, corresponde hmm. Carlos. Después de la pregunta de Nimi, yo contesto. Digo, How did you with travel with? With. Uh -huh. Ah, with. Hoy, Carolina. Soy yo. Ahora sí. Where do you travel after? Ah, y ahí digo, I travel to Bahamas the next week. Uh -huh. 
¿Cómo? Perdón. I travel to Bahamas the next week. Y ahora podría responder usted. Está en Nimian porque también a usted le pregunta, pues. A ambos. Ahí ya me metí. Pero le toca responder. I'm traveling too, puede decir. Yo también. Ahí yeah. nos habíamos quedado. I, I'm living here. Yo vivo aquí. I'm still here because I'm living here. Primero, eh, primero va Nimian. Después voy yo. Después va Carlos. Yes. Mm -hmm. Después, sí. ¿quién va? Voy yo otra vez. Porque yo le digo, where, where do you travel after? Me mm, creo que ahí va Nimian. Me queda un dice... minuto. Ajá, ¿y de allí quién sigue? Mm -hmm. Yo respondo. Y después ah, okay. va a usted. Ah, usted. Y luego trataría yo de dar una respuesta adicional. Porque... Okay, so let's try to listen. Okay, vamos a intentar. Let's try to make a conversation with the questions that you have. One asks, the other answers. Utilicemos las preguntas que hemos creado. I would like to start with Joanna and Ivan. Only you two, right? ¿Qué okay. más están ustedes? Um, Brenda. Brenda. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Ivan. Who turns off the light? Guard security of the light. Uh, yes. Continue. Okay. Um, continue, Brenda. Who cut on the pizza? Brenda. Brenda Iris. Your microphone. Hola, perdón. Okay. Who cooks on the pizza? Tatiana cooks the pizza. Okay. Continue, Brenda. Continue, Joanna. Who do you want to dance in the party with? I... I dance with my uncle. I want to dance. I want to dance with my uncle. With my uncle. Very good. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Now let's listen to uh, Claudia and Jenny. Claudia and Jenny. Okay. Um, Where do you start to work? I start uh, my work at 7 a.m. Uh -huh. um, ahora si quiere, me pregunta la dos. La dos. Where do you live? I live in Santa Who does she plan the marketing in company? Claudia? Who does she plan plan the marketing in company? Claudia. Creo que tiene problemas con la, la señal. Ella 
Can you hear us, Claudia? Sí, I see. Okay. Again, please. How do you like the coffee? I like black coffee with uh, sugar. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent job, very good. Thank you so much. Nelson's group, we want to listen to you. But before you do that, I want I have some questions. We say, look at the, the chat. Pongamos atención al chat. The security guard turns off the lights. The security guard turns off the lights. Security guard, Ivan. Okay. Okay. Now I want to know if it's okay, perfect. Cut off the pizza or cook the pizza. Yo escuché dos verbos. Cut and cook. Joanna? ¿Cuál es el correcto? Cook. Okay, cook. Who cooks the pizza? Who cooks cook. the pizza? Very Who good. The pizza? What time do you, do you start your work? What time do you start your work? And the other word is live. I live in San Salvador. I live in Santa Ana. I live in Cojutepeque, right? And then, for example, when you go to Facebook or Instagram, you see that there are some people that they do lives, right? En vivos, right? En vivo se dice live, right? But el verbo vivir, yo vivo, I live in, se dice live, okay, Claudia? And Jenny, live. Okay, let's continue. Nelson and company. Who was working with Nelson? ¿Quién estaba con Nelson? Karina. Karina and you. Okay, let's start. Okay. Hello, Rosemary. What do you do? Hello, Karina. I am an assistant. And you, Karina, what do you do? I am an accountant. And tell me, Rosemary, do you have a car? Yes, I have. And you, Karina? And you have a car, Karina? No, I don't have. And you, Nelson, what do you do? Nelson. Nelson, what do you do? Nelson. No se escucha, Nelson. Ok, continue. Karina y Jessica, continue. Ok. Tell me, Rosemary. Do you finish the university? When do you finish the university? I am finished in two years old. Ok. Why do you study English? Because I like, and you, Karina? Because I like it too. Thank you, Karina, bye. Bye, have a nice day. You too. <laughs> Very good, excellent. That was a nice conversation, thank you so much. Right. Very good. Now let's listen to Julio Carlos in company. Okay. My group work is Roberto and Emerson. Emerson. Adalberto, turn okay. on your camera. Okay. Um, Roberto, what time does this door open? 
Mr. Robin at 7 a.m. Okay, Emerson, uh, who get to the supermarket? And you get to the supermarket across the street. Okay. Julio Carlos, who do you want to dance with at the party? I want to dance with my wife. Okay. Emerson, what do you talk with your boss? What do you talk with your boss? Oh, I talk the, of the balance financial. Mm -hmm. Financial balance is the Heriberto. Okay. Where does uh, work on the Saturday? Where does you work on the Saturday? Where does? Where does? Okay, uh, I work in the cinema. Okay. Oh, Finish? wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, continue. Do you work to is the work on the Sunday? Emerson, repeat, please. Uh, when do you go to the work on the Saturday night? And the Sunday, sorry. Uh, okay. Um, I work on Sundays because it's my school. School, no sé si se pronuncia. Okay, it's my school. Okay, good. Now, questions. Uh, what is the word that you want to say, Julio Carlos? ¿Cuál es la palabra que quiere decir? Eh, horarios. Oh, ok. Pero. Schedules. Yo, yo escuché, yo escuché why, no, what. Yo escuché what. Eh, chef. Shift. de miren eso, se me fue. Schedule and shift. Schedule, horario. Chef. My chef. My chef starts from 6 p.m to 10 30 p.m. Okay. Right. Chef, mi horario. Okay. Now, questions that we need to ask. Uh, Emerson, if you are using you, you are not going to use das. Das. Okay. Okay. ¿Con qué utilizamos das, chicos? When do we use das? He, she, it. Person. He, she, it, third person singular. Person. Only. Okay, only. Solamente con he, she, and it, Emerson. Si tiene you, I, we, they, no lo utiliza, por eso no lo entendía en la pregunta. Okay, and otra cosa, y esto es para todos, okay? When we're speaking in Spanish, nosotros hacemos, ¿qué vas a hacer el sábado? Right? ¿Qué vas a hacer el sábado? ¿O qué haces el sábado? El sábado. Right? En español así lo decimos. But in English, we're going to say on Saturday. On Saturday. On Sundays. On Monday. No le vamos a poner the. On the Monday. On the Saturday. On the Sunday. No. Porque es un calco del inglés, del español al inglés. Estamos haciendo un, cal un calco lingüístico del, del español al inglés. Y no lo queremos hacer así. ¿Ok? Entonces, no vamos a decir, para no decir, ah, en el sábado, no, on Saturday. On que se, no. Si ustedes lo traducen a salvadoreño, lo pueden traducir así, no hay problema, en el sábado. Thursday. ¿Qué es el sábado? On Thursday. On Friday. Yes? If the last, if the last question were, why do you go to work on Sunday? Why do you go to work on Sundays? Yes. Why do you go to work on Sundays? 
because I am a poor person. <laughs> Okay, because, because I work in a restaurant. In a because, restaurant. Because I work in a restaurant. Because my chief is from Sunday to Friday, for example. And I have Saturday off. The question is correct. Very good. Es que esa era la, esa era la pregunta que quería hacer. Ah, uh, why? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> why do you do you go to work on Sundays? I'm poor. <laughs> Okay, very good. Now, that's a good question. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. No se preocupen, vamos a ir trabajando en pronunciación. Let's see right now. Todos pasaron, ¿verdad? Todos pasaron ya? Sí? Sí? Okay. Now, let's yes, continue yes, here yes. with the activities. We have here, right? Here, 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 here. We have a small conversation. Acabamos de hacer conversación. Esto lo podemos hacer mañana. Let's do this. It says, read the conversations, right? And we're going to choose what is the best answer, right? We have do and does. And Emerson is going to help me right now. Emerson, hi. Help me, Emerson, because I don't know the answers. So, hitting number one, it says, what? Do does Albert have to do on Thursday? What is the answer, Emerson? Should I use do or does? Does. Does. Why? <clears throat> Why? Se le apagó el micrófono, Emerson. Sorry. Why, why does? Your answer is correct. Ahora dígame por qué. Why does? ¿Por qué me escogió does? Emerson? Sorry, sorry. No tenía uh -huh. ese uh -huh. <laughs> Eso, perdón. Ese. Uh, why the subject is he? Because the subject is he. Because the subject is he. Okay? Recuerden, la pregunta es with why, y ustedes responden con because. Okay? Because. Why, por qué, en pregunta. Because, por qué, en respuesta. Okay? Because the subject is he. Excellent answer, Emerson. Very good job. Now, let me see here the next one. Tell me, Claudia Yvette Samayoa, number two. What is the answer? Is das. Okay. Very good. Is das. Why? Because the um, subject is um, he. He is Kevin. Very good. It's Kevin. Excellent job. Let's see here, Karina. What is the answer in number three? Who hmm? do you think? What is the subject, Karina? Going. Going is the subject. Okay. Is that sujeto? No. I. Where is I? Is, who do you think is going to help Kevin? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Who? Who? No. Who is a WH word? You, sorry. You, you okay. is the subject. And with you, we use do. Very good. Now, the number four, please tell me here. Nelson Ivan, number four. 
What do does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Does, okay. What is the subject? Mr. Reese. Mr. Reese, very good job. Right, please. This is on page 31. It's in a página 31. Right, it's on page 31. Ahí márquenlo. Luego vamos a responder las preguntas con base en la conversación que vamos a practicar mañana. Okay. Did you check the answers? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de las, de las, de las elecciones que hemos hecho? Any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta? No questions? No questions. No, no questions. Ok. Teacher, perdón. Teacher. Yes. En la cuarta, eh, because the subject, eh, Mr. Ruiz, o he. The subject is Mr. Ruiz. Mr. Ruiz is he. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Entonces. Recuérdense que tenemos acá, por ejemplo, eh, tenemos he, he, he. Estos son subject sí, pronouns, son pronombres, ok, son eh, que se utilizan, pronombres. Los pronombres sí. se pueden cambiar por nombres. En este caso, Albert is he, Kevin is he, Mr. Sí. Ruiz is he. Ruiz, he, ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Yo les puedo cambiar, ok. Very good. Okay. That's a good question, Ivan. Thank you for your question. Another person? Alguien más con preguntas? No? Seguimos? Yes. Let's continue. Yes, continue. We have another exercise here. Look at this. We have these words provided. These questions are not completed. You need to create the questions. We have number one, why he have a meeting? What do you think is going to be the question? Algo nos falta. Das. Das, very good, Jenny, das. So what is going to be the question? ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? La pregunta. Why? Why does he? Why does he? Have a meeting. Um, have a meeting. Um, have a meeting. Very good. Why does he have a meeting? Excellent. Why does he have a meeting? Okay. That could be the answer for number one. This is correct. Very Richard, good. Teacher, have a question. Yes. Y si solo escribo why he have a meeting, está mal. Grammatical speaking, yes. Gramaticalmente hablando, está mal. Okay. Si usted habla y le entiende, le van a entender. Sí le van a entender de qué está hablando. Pero se conoce como broken English. Como un inglés que todavía le falta mejorar. Okay. Mm -hmm. ok. Let's do number two, three and four. Hagamos two, three and four. Veamos. Antes que se nos termine el tiempo. Two, three and four. Let's do it. Where does, where does she process, she process the payments. payments? Where does she process the payments? Very good. Where does she process the payments? Let me write it here. What do English? Okay. Where does she process payments? Number three. What do English what does do, Ingrid do on Wednesday? What, what does, does? What does? What, yes. What does? What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? Very good. What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? What okay. do? And employee is one. Do. Do. When do? Yes. When do employee, employee is only one, it's not two, three, four. When does, when does, when does, when does the employee, the employee? Adquiring. 
the raw material. Okay. Very good. Copy the questions, please. Copy the preguntas, por favor. Employ. Employee. 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 Next. Archi acquire. Acquire. Ah, acquire. Acquire. Uh, material. Acquire. What? Acquire. Right? Right? Acquire. Acquire. The raw uh -huh. material. Uh, the raw material. Material. Exactly. Material. Material. Okay. Material. Now, do you have a question about these answers? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Ya los copiaron? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So I am going to call the tennis. Dígame si tienen alguna pregunta, por favor. Raw materials um, es como material. Materia prima. Ah, materia prima. Uh -huh. Materia así para crear las cosas nuevas. Raw material. Another question? Mm -hmm. pregunta, Analise, do you have questions? Yes. Uh, what is this? Employee. The employee, for example. I am a teacher. I work at English Corporativo. I am an employee in the company. Empleado, empleado de la empleado. compañía. Mm -hmm. Employee, empleado. In acquire. Last night, I acquired a new cell phone. Acquire. Adquirir. Adquirir. Acquire. Adquirir, comprar, obtener. Okay. Very good. So I am going to call the attendance there. ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta? Muy buenas preguntas ahora. ¿Alguien más? Nadia? Nothing. Nothing gonna change my love. Okay, so let me call your attendance very quick so we can continue here. Okay. Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas? Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas? Brenda Iris Escamilla Pérez? Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez? Acquire. Present. Carolina Yamilet Hernández Landa Verde? Present. Claudia Ivette Samayua Castro. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Present. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Ortes. Present. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mejibar. Present. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Iván Ernesto Elías. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo de Fuentes. Thank you. Present. Joalmo Alexi Ochoa Rivera. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present teacher. Karina Meris Estrada. Present. Milton Linares Molina. Nelson Iván Flores. Present. Nimian Elizabeth León de Estrada. Samuel Antonio Valencia. Vilma Beatriz Present. Reyes Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Present. Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Okay, very well then. So we're going to finish here, guys. I will see you tomorrow. I will just stay with Alexis Ochoa for the end of the class. Okay, have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Thank see you, you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.